I want to talk to you about cravings. So basically I woke up today with very strong cravings for goat cheese and crackers and coffee. This is a breakfast that I've been having as a way to kind of not have the really junky breakfasts, although that's not strictly, you know, super healthy, but it's better than, you know, bacon, eggs and muffins or whatever. So anyway, I wake up and I'm expecting that I've got crackers, goat cheese and tomatoes uh, in, in the house. Um, and I went downstairs to make my breakfast and I'm all anticipating having that breakfast now. And I look in the fridge, there's no goat cheese. And immediately I'm assailed by this huge cravings of just, and, and it's almost like a blend of like wanton, needing fear or something. But these are just words I'm applying to it, right? But it's just like the whoosh sensation and uh, a grasping, like really needing it. And it kind of locks in uh, this position of, I'm just going to go and get that right now. I'm not going to be suffering not having my particular uh, food. And then I, <clears throat> what I did with that was just decide just to rest naturally. And this is what I'm talking about when you can decide where you put your awareness. If you place your awareness in the description of the craving, it will win every time. Or you'll place your description in the craving and then fight that description. Either way, you're substantiating that subscription. You're making it become something. You're, you're substantiating it as a real thing. Or all it is, is just a movement, just a dynamic energy that flows naturally through whatever realm you wish to call this. It's just woof. It, it rises as awareness, it abides as awareness, and it subsides as awareness. And it's going to subside, whether you take the action or not. And the trick is this, not that it's a trick, is that normally what happens is the craving arises, the action follows it, and like this, and they're linked. But what can happen is that that awareness just, woof, just goes up. You place your attention in awareness only, just what is seeing. What is knowing the craving exists? What is the craving comprised of? It's awareness only. It goes along and it subsides. But that's what we think happens. What actually happens is that you're going along, you rest as awareness, it goes whoop. It's fascinating. It's like a puff of smoke flying out of, um, flying towards you and it looks like a fist and you want to duck or fight it or block back or hit back or go, oh, and succumb to it. But you stand there, relax, and just phew, smoke. Has no merit or gravity whatsoever. And then you go about your day, and what I did instead is I had very thin flaxseed crackers with uh, a pesto sauce, and I had a herbal tea, and it was just completely relaxed. And enjoyable as well. I just wanted to share that with you about cravings. There'll be more on this this subject, so do stay tuned because this is the end of it now. Whatever you've had, whatever issues you've had with food throughout your life, they end here.